Hi Aries, welcome to your new love, true love reading for January 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. A couple more shuffles here. Three of Cups. All right. So this could be you're in a period of celebration or happiness or, um, hmm. Yeah, I always think of wedding <laughs> and it's like you met somebody at a wedding. <laughs> um, this could be just feeling really communal with your group, a group of friends, the creative juices are flowing, that sort of thing. Ace of Swords, King of Wands. The moon could be Pisces or Cancer. The hermit could be Virgo. Page of Swords and Ten of Swords. Interesting. All right. Okay, so you could meet your future love interest online. This could be somebody that could be involved in the legal system or the medical profession. Um, you know, it could be a soldier, it could be somebody in the military deals with weaponry or uh, ballistics. If this could be somebody in the medical field dealing with, you know, literally getting to the root of the met, cutting away all the riffraff to get, you know, a surgeon, a doctor to get to the problem. Um, this could be a lawyer, judge. So anything that would help clear away unnecessary things that basically is uh, in the job of bringing about clarity or solution. So that's as far as like how, you know, the what profession they might be in, right? This, as far as a person, um, they're probably going to be some, you know, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, might be a person that is very decisive and... That came out of nowhere, pardon me clear thinking, very energetic, um, is sincere, is honest. They, hmm, they have a love of adventure. So that might get in the way or what their issues are there. It might be that they need everybody to think highly of them. They, they need to be thought of in a certain way or adored. I knew um, somebody like this and they were a water sign. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a Leo, Sagittarius or um, Aries, but this type of personality is uh, very energetic. They like to be adored. They like being fawned over. They like being the center of attention. They like to be on the move in pursuit. They enjoy the hunt. So if they're not kept busy, they might become restless and, and disinterested and, and anxious and things like that. So that could be a drawback, um, especially if <laughs> you're inwardly drawn. <laughs> this is an extrovert. This is an introvert. So it could be um, that you, you have a tendency, this could be Virgo, but a Virgo like tendency to, to retreat. Maybe you're a homebody. Um, you prefer things low key and just really mellow. Whereas this one likes to always be on the move and on the go. So that could be, you know, the disparate energies could be in conflict. So just watch out for that. And, hmm, this could be Pisces or Cancer. Uh, all right. So being that they're going to be really clear headed and wanting to get to the root of the problem, this would suggest it could be you meet them somehow, some way involved in your health care or treatment. This could be medical issues, particularly female medical issues, female reproductive organs, that sort of thing. This could the moon um, could represent female issues for somebody. So that could be connected to, you know, you see a doctor or medical you get some medical attention for that and how you meet this person Aries is 
somehow tied up with that nurse, doctor, treatment group, um, somebody in the, the staff that helps out, a nurse, something like that. This could be going to a therapist because you've got some, you know, if this is a woman, hormonal anxiety. If this is a man, you're dealing with your partner who has a hormonal anxiety or you're dealing with somebody in your family. I mean, it's just, it's really varied and this is general. So, okay, so this is somebody that is probably going to help you get over some heartache, help you with forgiveness and moving on. And, huh. This would suggest, uh, pardon me, I'm going to get some water here, completion. Um, if this isn't medical issues, this could be somebody that's going to help you see things clearly after a relationship has ended. If that's not the situation you're meeting them in, it's going to be something they help you with, especially if they're always on the hunt, if they're a mover and a shaker and they like excitement. They might be just the inspiration you need to move past the confusion and the anxiety from a past um, hurt or heartache that you're trying to make sense of that you're trying to get clear of okay so um you might have been inward for a while you might have turned inward especially if that's in your nature to to want to handle things you know when you retreat just be aware that this at some point that might start to become an issue after you get over the hurdle of processing this past issue that they're showing up to help you with okay all right so there hmm hold on a minute Okay, so um, while they might be, hang on a second, Aries, I all of a sudden got very uncomfortable with this and I've got to take it off and my mic's hooked up and putting you down for, oh, there you go, putting you down for a second here. Sorry, this can't wait. <laughs> okay, so while... They might be the mover and the shaker and on the move and all that. Pardon me. The Page of Swords, as far as what their contribution or gift is, what to look for. They might offer a childlike innocence or um, they might keep things very interesting and fun because this is a page okay this could also be somebody that um, is very curious and and is always up for the next big adventure they're very energetic uh, this could be somebody who's willing to watch and give things time they could help you get to the bottom much like this over here they could help you kind of sort things out and get some clarity they could help you work through some things as far as any confusion you might have um, this this also could be again too this is general because you know it's a general reading but this could be somebody that you meet online this could be a lot of online activity um that i just i really feel like it's somebody that's going to help you with some moving on from some past hurts we got the three of swords we got the world and we got the ten of swords here this feels like someone showing up to help you get through something or to resolve something it could be mental health and physical health here so it's hmm. i mean for some of you honestly this could be about dealing with some a loved one that has passed on we got the ten of swords we got the hermit we got the couple of swords up here we got the world you know i mean this could be a grief counseling group about mourning the loss of somebody that has like left the plane i'm not talking about like a breakup i'm talking about like like the final final and i don't want to say it but you know what i'm talking about um and this could be just that they show up to give you renewed hope and being able to find your heavily happily ever after again this isn't a permanent thing we've got the ten of swords here so this is probably 
someone or something that's just something someone that's just showing up to help you get over a heartache or a hurt we got that twice here yeah they're they're showing up to help you heal and move on whoever this person is so your next love interest your next person that there's going to be that romantic spark for is going to show up to help you move past a very painful situation and help you deal with the ending or the finality of that situation it could be medical but um, for some of you this could be talking about a loved one who's passed on um, this is about you com being communal with friends or just that communal energy maybe you two get together and you have a really great time like there's a small romantic interest but this is largely friends and support and here's that page here that's kind of like oh you know there's messages of love or talking about it but maybe now is not the right time um because first you got to get through something right so all right aries looks like you're it looks like there's there might be a budding interest here but it's not going to be anything major because you're kind of dealing with a few things they might show up in support of but the, the romantic part is going to kind of take a, a a back seat to them helping you resolve a few issues all right aries what does aries need to know aries I want this one. I want this one. <laughs> okay, well that's why. Healing. <laughs> Reconnecting with your true nature. Okay, so there's this is um, part of what this person's showing up for, honestly. Helping you heal. Helping you get clarity on a situation. Something that was pretty painful for you, broke your heart. Uh, it was definitely final. We got the world, we got, you know, the swords here, and we got uh, ten of swords so it just and then we got retreating inward and doing some soul searching so whatever it was it was very final and it was very painful so this person is showing up to help you heal and to restore your faith you know, restoring your faith in humanity and that there can be a happily ever after again after this ordeal oh lord well, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just saying. I wouldn't go that far. It says get over yourself. Mm, maybe for some of you that applies, but that doesn't resonate with me. But okay. This would suggest that you're taking something too seriously, but I, I think that needs to be measured. <laughs> that would apply. That would have to be looked at individually. There he is. Leap of faith. That's what that star is. Hope, renewed, healing, um, faith. Having a leap of faith being restored. So, yeah, whatever, whoever, and whenever this relationship happens, this is going to help restore your faith in love and basically help you remember that it is safe and okay to love. So there's been a, a traumatic event for you here. Something that's kind of... I'm surprised, honestly, I'm surprised the tower has not shown up. Because, <laughs> dang. All right. I want to get some timing if I, if I can. So, two cards for timing. We shall see. Two cards for timing. This says, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. I don't know if I read that. Aries. All right, so that jumped out. Okay, so yeah, this is this is about being able to talk to somebody in a trusted capacity, regaining control. Okay, and then that flipped out. Ten of Wands, so you're carrying a heavy load. That's got to get cleared up. However, um, we are looking at summer. So the ten is significant. So this could be the tenth day or week into summer. So there you go. Tenth day or week into summer. So it's, it's right now um, where I'm at, it is winter. <laughs> so you got about six months. It's just going to turn, I think today or tomorrow's first day of winter. So, um, or no, it's already, it's not January 22nd. It's, 
yeah anyway winter has just happened so you've got about six months to get to basically start to deal with this and to process this and the sad thing is about this the only thing that aries is that like this might not have happened yet so all of a sudden you're like well oh my god is something her terrible gonna happen and then i'm gonna meet this person i think that you're already dealing with this and then it comes it gets to a point where you just you're stuck and then this person comes along somehow and the capacity to help and then it, it blossoms from there and it looks like you're going to meet this person or it's going to flourish in or around the beginning of summer sorry the 10th day to the 10th week of summer that's when it's going to make its presence known okay <laughs> make its presence known what is that thank you for stopping by i hope this was helpful uh, I am sorry for this. It, it feels like it's pretty heavy and it's a painful loss for you. Um, I wish you luck with this and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.